So on a pork tenderloin like this, you don't need to do too much to it because this is a very tender cut of meat mm -hmm. from the top back of the pig. So what we want to do is give it a little bit of a rub. So why don't you grind up some peppercorns in my, pleasure. In your, in my little um, spice mill there. And I'm going to add to your peppercorns some rosemary and garlic, which I think is, you know, the perfect accompaniment to pork. So did you right. see what I did? I just yeah, minced up good. the parsley, I mean the rosemary. I've got black pepper now that you did. And now, easy. And now what you need to do is put this pork on this mixture. Now you notice I put it on uh, wax paper so mm -hmm. we didn't have to get the board all de contaminated with Oh, no. No, you got to do more than that. Oh, you, you want me to turn raw, it? Yes, oh, turn it, see? Oh, uh, you're really all, putting me to work today. Get it, rub, it, rub it all over with your hands. Get it all mixed up. I'm going to get some butter going in a pan oh, here. That's great. Because we're going to cook this meat twice. Even though I told you this is a tender cut of meat, we don't want to overcook it. And the secret is to do what first? Rich gore. Turn on the fire. <laughs> Turn on the fire and sear the meat. Sure. You want to sear the meat so you, all the juices stay inside. So that's yes. looking good. Is that looking good to you? Yeah. That's that, pretty coated. That looks great. So now the next thing you need to do is go over and wash your hands because you've oh. just dealt with Yes, a lot of people forget meat. that. So here it is. And now we can put it in the pan. So, Rich, right over here, I'm mm -hmm. going to have you keep your eye on this. Be glad to. We're going to put this in. Let's take this whole board over. Put it in. Why don't you hold that paper down so I can get that you off the board? And it goes right in the pan. Oh, that sounds good. Now your job is to sear that. Is to get that really browned on both sides. And now then how long does this usually take, Marion? Well, this is gonna take over high heat, maybe three or four minutes, and then we're gonna put it in the oven, and we're gonna cook it for about seven to 10 minutes. We want this to register around 150 for rare, but remember that at 137, you've killed any bacteria. Right. So it's good to have an instant read thermometer if you're not too good in the kitchen. I am gonna make the sauce for this, which is very quick. You wanna start out with um, some raspberry or blackberry jam. Look at this. Just wow, easy, jam. Easy to get. This is simple. Yeah, a jar of jam. So you put a jar of jam, or not a jar, but about a cup of jam into a little saucepan. And I like the blackberry with this because I think this just gives a nice, rich flavor to the pork. So make sure you're watching that Oh, I'm now. watching. And then to give this a little bit of a bite, I like to put in some balsamic vinegar. Okay, now that's, you're getting there, so give it another turn. Yes, I am. And I think we can get that into the oven. I'm gonna be using these blackberries a little later on. So that's all there is to the sauce. Look at how easy this is. That looks good, looks good. Turn What's it that? over, let's see. What do you think? All right, your, your turning skills are beautiful. Thank All right. you. Coming so now, from you, I take that as a big compliment. Okay, let's put it in the oven. So we're going to turn it off, and we're going to put it right here. Stick it in. And in about seven to ten minutes, that's going to be done. When you take it out of the oven, don't cut it immediately. You know why? Mm -hmm. Why? Because you want to let those juices be reabsorbed into the meat. You see how nothing mm -hmm. is flowing around on the outside. That is important. Now we can cut the meat. And I like to just cut it on yeah, the was, diagonal. And you see. Cuts like butter. You see how beautiful it is. Mm -hmm. And we didn't overcook it. It should be pinky, just like this. So you, you do this. Doesn't that look nice? That looks great. And, and then, then also readily available at most supermarkets. Yes. Right? And so then I put it on a plate like this. And now we are ready to add that sauce that you have just made. Was it a sweat workout? Um, you know, I didn't I'm, think so. I'm tempted to put my finger okay. in, but I won't. All right, well, let's, let's, let's uh, stop this. Put that right there. And to serve this, you just take a little of this sauce. Look at how easy this is, Rich. And you pour it. Look at it. Piece of it cake. It looks like you've been at the stove all day, doesn't it? And clearly we know we haven't. And clearly we know that this has taken us all but a few minutes to do. Then, to dress it up a little bit, why don't you get some uh, of those herbs there? I like to take you Like those. rosemary? Is yeah, rosemary, more? because we used it in the dish. Here are a few blackberries. A little parsley there is nice, very good. 
And how about some for right here? Uh, we'll go with And that's one. all there is to doing that beautiful pork tenderloin. Look what you great made. Pre great presentation so easy to make. It's so easy to make.